Hi, I'm Dan Krantz, Chief Information Officer for Keysight Technologies. While monetizing data insights has been an elusive goal for many organizations, the maturing of AI technologies is finally making it possible for companies to organize and actualize their information. The next five years will see these efforts accelerate and those organizations that can successfully act on their data will thrive. CIOs at these organizations will favor solutions with four factors. First, low code extensibility. Secondly, intuitive user experience and prolific APIs for maximum composability, all culminating in the fourth area, breakthrough analytical insights. Those who fail to embrace these capabilities will be mired in an Excel wormhole, the negative financial and competitive consequences of which will be difficult to escape. My name is Anil Inamdar. I'm the VP of Data Solutions at InstaCluster, now a NetApp company. Predictions are difficult, especially of the future. I think Yogi Berra said that. With that in mind, here are my three, three predictions for 2023. Prediction number one, proprietary relational databases will continue to be replaced by open source alternatives. Now there was a time when for every database requirements, the answer was Oracle DB2 SQL Server. But now we have different types of databases, document and key value and graph and time series. So the mantra will be, right type of database for the right type of use case. Production number two, managing cloud sprawl will become critical for every organization. Now, what does that mean? Uh, with the popularity of cloud, organizations are seeing cloud footprint, footprint grow, not only in one uh, cloud vendor, but across multiple cloud vendors. Now, this has created three issues. Issue number one, it has become complex to manage cloud operations. Second, it is difficult to measure and realize savings using cloud. And third, it has also created a security risk. Now, there are many solutions available, available in the market. One of the solutions is from uh, my company, NetApp, called CloudOps. You can check that out at spot.io. Prediction number three, training and retaining open source talent will become critical. Now, several research organizations are predicting synergetic growth between cloud and open source technologies. The latest open source job report from Linux Foundation is highlighting difficulty in hiring and retaining open source talent. So, in 2023, the, it will be critical for organizations to invest in open source resources, open source training. Hello, my name is Robert Rivas, and I'm the Vice President of Data Center and Cloud Services and security officer at First Light Fiber. We're a Northeast and Mid-Atlantic broadband cloud and dark fiber provider uh, that has a plethora of security solutions. So over the years, we've seen the security sector go through change after change, and we don't see that stopping anytime soon. Uh, in 2023, our predictions are that the use of SaaS will increase due to its ability to provide overlay uh, cybersecurity solutions that'll allow smaller businesses uh, to look for a la carte security solutions primarily open source security information and event management tools, or OSSIMs, to create flexibility for smaller companies and enable right-sizing of their security stacks. Finally, companies are going to definitely increase geographic diversity, which will positively impact security in their networks. This will ensure protection from natural disasters and other issues that could affect network vulnerabilities. Our team here at First Light is ready to help design, implement, and support the right security solution for your network needs uh, moving forward in 2023. Hello, my name is Antonio Sanchez and I'm with Fortran. In 2023, we expect to see organizations continue to look for efficiencies within their security operations. And this is driven primarily because of the continued skilled shortage in the marketplace. One of the ways we'll see this happen is in the form of automation. Security leaders will be able to define a set of pre-approved actions that can be executed at machine speed rather than having these done manually. Another way we'll see this happen is in the form of managed services as we see managed services continue its adoption. This allows an organization to transfer some of the management requirements of certain parts of their security stack onto a partner. 
Now, in both of these, this is going to relieve some of the operational burden of the existing IT staff or security staff, rather, allowing them to be able to focus their efforts on critical and higher value projects. Hi, my name is Carl Temme. I'm Senior Vice President of Product for Federated Wireless. We bring next generation wireless technology and spectrum innovations to business use cases. In 2023, I predict the adoption of blueprints using 5G for IoT use cases. These will be proven examples of how enterprises have used private wireless technology for business benefit, which others will then see and follow like a recipe to realize the same benefits. Here are three underlying trends behind this prediction. Number one, there are IoT use cases emerging that require new wireless capability. These are use cases like robotics, autonomous vehicles, and video for all kinds of purposes like security, signage, machine vision, and augmented reality. These use cases can require large coverage areas, reliable broadband data as high as a gigabit per second, and latency as low as single digit millisecond round trip. Number two, 5G is making mobile network technology accessible for private enterprises. In the past, often the only choice for enterprise wireless was Wi-Fi operating in unlicensed spectrum. Mobile network technology used for public cellular networks in licensed bands has not been accessible to most enterprises implementing their own private wireless systems. Now, 5G is making mobile network technology accessible to enterprises. Many of the 5G innovations that help make this possible are architecture and design principles. Network function virtualization that's part of 5G turns networks into software. Cloud native design makes it easy to scale networks down and up. Standardized edge compute combined with edge services from hyperscalers like AWS puts capability on-prem where it's needed for many IoT use cases. And finally, number three, new ways of accessing radio spectrum are providing the fuel to make private wireless systems more powerful. Until recently, options for spectrum access were limited. Unlicensed spectrum is an option that's free and easy to access, but interference is uncontrolled and can be a problem. Licensed spectrum, on the other hand, controls interference, but costs and bureaucratic regulatory process can make it prohibitive. Now shared spectrum innovation like CBRS has become the leading spectrum approach used for private wireless with innovative models that make valuable spectrum reliable, affordable, and accessible. At Federated Wireless, we're supporting these spectrum innovations by turning spectrum access into software to make it practical for enterprise IoT use cases. So in summary, due to the confluence of these important trends, enterprises are demonstrating business benefits of IoT use cases enabled by private 5G edge systems. These success stories will become blueprints that other enterprises will follow to realize the same benefit, thereby perpetuating the rapid growth we're seeing in private wireless adoption in 2023 and beyond. My name is Almog, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Ciolo. We provide employees and third parties the fastest and most secure zero trust access to everything, everywhere. As we look forward to the new year, I believe that several trends will stand out in 2023. First, security budgets are unfortunately not expected to increase despite the rising threat. In the face of this challenge, organizations will focus on lower cost activities. The good news is that basic cyber hygiene activities like implementing secure access and MFA will become a priority. Eliminating implicit trust, which is the most basic promise of the Zero Trust Framework, is going to become a must, especially as it relates to third-party partners and vendors and other high-risk users. The reality is that companies today have many partners that need access to critical resources to complete their tasks and keep the business running. While their work is very important, Giving the third parties full network access poses a serious security risk, as recent supply chain attacks have shown. If secure access for third party users is not made a priority in 2023, it only become an even bigger challenge in the years ahead. Another area that will receive more attention in 2023 is remote connectivity. When the pandemic began, and the world first went remote, business continuity was often prioritized over security. But now, close to three years later, remote and hybrid work arrangements are becoming permanent. 
and it is time to ensure the right protocols are in place to support secure remote work. But now, close to three years later, remote and hybrid work arrangements are becoming permanent, and it is time to ensure the right protocols are in place to support remote work. After all, hackers no longer need to break in. They simply log in. It is our job as security professionals to secure all types of users and make the bad guy's job as difficult as possible. There will always be surprises, but it remains our top responsibility to support business growth. As security leaders, it is crucial to look ahead and prepare as best we can for upcoming trends and threats. There will always be surprises, but it remains our top responsibility to support business growth while also ensuring the security of our users and systems. I wish us all a successful and a secure year.